Hi, it's Alec from Infinite Ammo. Um, I just wanted to put together a little simple introduction to Unity because it's a really cool game engine. Um, it's actually really easy to use. It's really intuitive. Uh, I just wanted to put together a little introduction to get more people using it. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to create a new blank project here. So I like having a Unity folder in my user directory. It just holds all the projects, and the projects in Unity are just like folders. They're not special file formats or anything, they're just a folder with a bunch of different things in it. Um, and you can actually import files into your project just by throwing them in this folder. Um, called demo01. We're not going to include any of these extras right now. So here we go. We don't need this right now. So what we have here is a completely blank scene. Um, this is the scene view. Uh, over here we have the hierarchy, which basically means what's in the scene right now. And all that's in the scene right now is a camera. If we click on this, see over here we get um, details under the inspector panel. So we have details about the camera. And the first thing you notice here is that there's a name and, and all that stuff. There's also these different sections here. Um, and each one of these sections is called a component. And this is kind of what Unity is all about. Uh, all the objects in Unity are called game objects, but then they have different components attached to them. So see, uh, here we have a transform component, here we have a camera component, and there's a few other components that are used for basically creating a scene. So stuff that renders the GUI, stuff that can render flares, and stuff that listens for audio. It's not really important right now. Um, but each of these components, except for transform, which is a special type of component, can be disabled. So we could disable the camera. You see the view here disappears because we've disabled that functionality. Uh, and this is really the key to understanding what's powerful and cool about Unity is understanding how these components work. Because what you can do is you can just create a script called whatever you want. Um, let's call it Bob. And double click it. Um, this is a JavaScript, by the way. Uh, there's two different main languages you can use. There's JavaScript and C Sharp. And there's another language called Boo, but people don't really use that one as much. Um, so you can kind of pick what language you want to use, whatever you're most comfortable with. JavaScript's generally a bit simpler. Um, the syntax can sometimes get a bit weirder just because objects aren't as strongly typed. And this is all programmer gibberish, so if you don't understand, I'll just ignore it for now. Um, so we want to just create some stupid example scripts. So what what are we doing here? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> so we've written a, a basic script, and you may have an idea of what this might do, or you may not. Um, I'll explain it later. But right now. We've got the script in here, um, and we want to attach it to this camera to see what it does. So all we're going to do is just drag it. Uh, you could either select this and go over here to the inspector and drag it in there, or you could just drag it right onto the object, or you can even drag it onto the object in the scene view. So there's a lot of flexibility for that, but I like doing it this way. Um, so now it's attached, and so like you, how we saw the camera component before, now there's a Bob script component attached to this camera. And now we're going to create a cube, and we're going to put it at 0, 0, 0. So you can change the position of things just by editing stuff in the transform component, the inspector. You can also move it around by just dragging. If you grab the box here, you can move in different dimensions. If you use the handles, you can walk to a certain axis, which is really helpful. Um, so let's just move back. Of course, being able to set stuff manually in here is really helpful for getting things to be exactly where you want them. So we've got this box, and let's throw in a light so it doesn't look quite as boring. Let's put this light over here or somewhere. So let's run the script and see what happens. Run this in here. So now when we push spacebar, the camera jumps forward one unit. Um, 
this is probably the least fun game ever made, but it demonstrates how the scripts work. So let's look at the script here. Um, basically what this is saying is every frame, every time this object gets an update call, um, there's things in Unity called functions, which, which basically mean places where you can create functionality for your objects. And one function that's defined by Unity is called update, and it gets called on every object once per frame. Um, these curly braces here, they just tell you that this is the beginning of the function and the end of the function. Um, similarly, this is an if statement, and that just means to check if something is true or false. That's all that if statements do. It's kind of like ways that you can make decisions in code. So, for example, this one checks to see if the jump button is down. And if the jump button is down, then we move forward one unit. That's what this does. Now you can see what we're doing here is we're getting access to different components. We're going to the input object, which is a global object. It exists everywhere. You can get to it from any script just by typing input dot, and then you put the function that you want to get access to, which in this case is get button down, which means return true if the button that we're interested in went down on this frame. Return true if the button that we're interested in went down on this frame. Um, so that means that we don't, if we hold down the jump button, this statement will only execute once. It won't keep executing. And this is useful for a variety of things like doing a jump button for a character, for example. Um, and to specify what button we want, we give it a name. Um, and the name in this case is jump. And that's defined somewhere else. And it has these little quotations because it's what's called the string, which means text. Um, so the names are defined as text, so in this case we're defining jump. And then over here we're getting the transform. So remember before we were talking about components and you go to the uh, main camera and you see the transform. Um, and you see it has different values. It has position and the position has an x, y, z component. What we're doing in the script is just getting access to that component transform dot, which means we want to get a property from transform, transform position dot z. Uh, plus equals means add to. And so we add one to it. And so we can actually, the really cool thing about Unity is when you're running your project, you can actually look at the objects in the inspector. And we can see, as we hit spacebar, that the z value changes. You know what else is really cool is we can actually go and change the value while the game is running. Um, and this is really, really useful for debugging games because you can just start testing whatever you want. You can throw whatever values you want in there. And then once you hit play again to stop the scene, all your changes are reset. So what if we wanted to make some controls for the camera that make a little bit more sense? Well, we could do that. I'm going to comment this code out. Commenting basically just means that we're going to disable this public code right now because we don't want to use it. 